Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. In today's video, I wanted to share what's on my wish list for the month of August. Each item on this list is, I want to say, some is affordable and some is just like insane. <laughs> but that particular item... Um, as a girl from New York, I'm used to having like wool coats and just nice trench coats because of the weather. Now that I'm in Atlanta, it's a little bit different, but it has been getting really cold here in the months of winter and even fall. I'm trying to prepare myself for this fall so I can make sure that I have all of my things when I do head out to brunch and just not even parties, just like brunch and just everyday day-to-day -day things. With that being said, I'm going to jump into a pair of boots that I saw at Jimmy Choo. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I am six feet tall. I wear a size. I'm going to say an 11 is my normal size, and that's solely because I size up. But I do have slightly wide feet. Now, when I purchase things from Jimmy Choo, okay, let me, let me backtrack. If you have <laughs> slim feet and you're a size 10 and a half, 11, um... You may be okay to just size up a half a size in Jimmy Choo. However, if you have slightly wide feet, you're going to have to like size up probably like two sizes. Okay? Their shoes run extremely small in my opinion. So much so that your girl always has to get a size 43. The 43 for me feels like a size... Um, I'm going to say a 12 because I do have room. Uh, so if that kind of helps you if you do have a larger foot... Definitely check them out. The 43s and the 42s go extremely fast. Okay. <laughs> so these are the Nell knee boots. And I would consider these kind of like riding boots, just the style of the boot. Very sleek, very clean. It does have a gold detailing on the back. I'll pop in a photo for you guys to see. Now, they aren't the cheapest. So they're on my wish list because I really like the style of them. It's something that I had way back in my younger day. So I am going to be looking for something very similar if I don't get these exact boots. One thing I will say about Jimmy Choo is that the leather is very supple. Um, I really like it. The only issue is that they do run small. And if you have a bigger calf, you may have a problem. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I did lose some weight in my calf area. And that's solely because I don't walk as much as I did in New York. So my calves are a little bit smaller. And some of the boots that are meant to like stand up do slouch a bit on me. And I don't have big calves. So keep that in mind. And also, I went to a Jimmy Choo store and saw these striped boots that I loved. Went to the store. And when I tell you, the opening of the boot was so tiny. I, I don't think the shoes are being made for average women. I see a ton of girls with thick legs, thick calves. So I just don't know how they're actually making these boots like this. At least put the little stretchy little piece on the boot. Hide it within the leather. That way it could stretch for the girls who have bigger calves. But anyway, so those are on my wish list for this August. If I can get something similar, like I said, I'm definitely going to go for them as long as they are 100% leather. If you buy anything that is boots family a foot, foot, footwear family or jacket family i would say try to get something on the um 100 leather side if you're paying a ton of money for it first thing is the boots from jimmy choo the nail boots and like i said if you have a larger foot grab them up now the next item on my wish list for august is two things from dior there are two belt bags, and I actually, yeah, they both consider belt bags. One is a little bit thinner, one is thicker, which I think I'm going to go for the thicker one. I really like the style of it. It's more of my speed because it wraps more around the waist. But the first one is a little bit thinner, and that's called the Saddle Removable Belt Bag. Super cute. It has a little pouch on the side. No, you can't carry a ton of stuff in it, but it's definitely very cute. If you don't want to go for something that is designer, you can definitely go on Etsy. I have talked about Etsy shops for the longest. Etsy has really amazing shops, small businesses that carry really nice leather goods. Like, do not sleep on it because it's Etsy. 
trust me, they have really nice things. And if you don't want to spend the money, like I said, check out Etsy. But this is on my wish list along with the thicker version. And that one is called the Saddle Belt with Pouch. They're very similar, but this one is more my speed because it's thicker. I can wear it with dresses, like I said. You can wrap it around shirts. If you have like a long line shirt or even a long line blazer, perfect, perfect belt. So you guys are probably going to see this soon. I think I'm going to treat myself because I really like this one a lot. <laughs> I'll probably get this before the boots, but I definitely will enjoy wearing that and often as well. Something like this you can actually wear. So something like this you can wear over a blazer, even a coat. This one does have some elastic on it. But when you take a look at the back of the belt, it has some elastic so it can stretch a little bit further as opposed to something that is 100% leather and you're kind of stuck in that 85, 90 size range. So this is for me. It kind of reminds me of the old Gucci like gray and red elastic belt. Super cute. It didn't have much of a logo on it, but you knew it was Gucci because of the colors, which is kind of more my be a little bit more subtle. This has the CD um, sign in the front, which is okay. It's not over the top, but I really, really like it. And it's on my wish list. And like I said, I'm going to be wearing it with dresses and long line tops, even over a jacket that's not too thick, maybe a trench coat. But it's on my wish list, guys, and I'm visualizing it in my closet, okay? <laughs> so there's a lot of the things that I do like to get are more on the neutral side of colors, and that's solely because I want to be able to wear my items over and over and over in multiple ways. One of my favorite colors is red, so to me, red can go with a ton of things, so I don't really feel like I'm going out of what I usually have in my closet as far as color scheme. But if I do, it's still going to be something that's going to go with the majority of my stuff, if that makes sense. Because you guys already know about those green Jimmy Choo shoes. <laughs> and the reason why I got them is because I'm like, oh, they have my size. They fit. That's the struggle when you have a larger foot and you're a tall woman. You're like, let me grab it and see. I'm not going to give up on them. I know that I'm going to find like a really cute t-shirt or something, like some distressed pants and just wear it with it. It's just hard to find nice t-shirts. Zara has great t-shirts, but they haven't really been having many lately. So whatever. I still like them. <laughs> so that's the other item that's on my wish list for August are these two belts from Christian Dior and I absolutely love. So if you stay to this part of the video, make sure you are liking the video below guys. The other item is going to be these Saint Laurent beautiful sunglasses. These are called the SL537 Palace Flat Brow Sunglasses. Okay, look at the picture. Need I say more? If you have a bob, okay, a bob, even some big curly hair, um, your hair slicked back, maybe a long braid, absolutely love these glasses and they are on sale. I believe the original price was like $5.50 and I think they're on sale for like $3.50 on my Teresa. You guys are going to see these. I'm definitely going to get these because again, it's in my color scheme. I have a beautiful, beautiful ivoryish cream color wool coat from the Frankie shop. You guys know I love that coat. It's massively long for a girl who's six feet tall. That coat is amazing. It's oversized. I can get it taken in if I wanted to, but I actually like it oversized. And it also has shoulder pads. So typically I would stay away from shoulder pads because I have broad shoulders, but I actually like how it looks on me. It gives me just a little bit more structure in anything that I'm wearing. So I like to go for coats that have shoulder pads, maybe blazers that have shoulder pads, any type of top that has shoulder pads. Very, very nice, especially in the fall. Winter may be a little bit harder because you got to wear a, sh a blazer, not a blazer, a shirt or something with shoulder pads under a jacket. So keep that in mind if you are going for something that has shoulder pads, but these glasses are a win for me. If I haven't said this before, getting my cost per wear out of things is something that I am very, very passionate about. I don't feel like wasting money. Um, and even if I felt like I wasted money because I didn't wear something enough, I'm probably going to sell it and get my money back for get some money back for it. Uh, cause usually it's going to be in really great condition, but I prefer to get my good cost per wear out of anything that I wear regardless of where it's from, guys. <laughs> so the last item is going to be this beautiful, 
Saint Laurent Wool Co. Like I said, as a New Yorker, these are the type of jackets that I was rocking to work when I worked in an office. This jacket is it. Now it's very, very pricey. That's why it's on a wish list. I've been trying to see if I can find something similar, um, especially as far as the length of this jacket. It's very nice. It has beautiful shoulder pads. The color is amazing. This will be super, super dope in like a ivory color, black, of course, and this camel color is absolutely gorgeous. But for me, this is something that will definitely go with my wardrobe. It's on my wish list. It's pricey. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I would pull the trigger and do it, but it's definitely something that I can see in my closet and I can see myself wearing. That's another thing. If I'm going to have something on my wish list, I could absolutely see myself in it. Something like this you can wear, throw on with literally anything and look sharp because it's so long and it's very structured in the shoulders. Very, very nice. The quality looks amazing. For me, I like to read the details and see how much wool blend it is. If it's a wool blend or if it's 100% wool. Those are the things that are important when I'm picking something for my wish list because I may potentially buy the item. <laughs> and when I do buy the item, of course, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is that I got and give you guys a full on review. So those are the top items on my wish list for August. Guys, let me know what you guys think about all of the items. Do you create a wish list? Is it something that you just never thought about or you do them with the intent of buying? So if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC.com and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.